today we will solve the problem uh, 2.22 of uh, Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics. The problem 2.2 is find the potential a uh, distance s yes, from an infinitely long straight wire that carries a uniform uh, line charge lambda. Uh, compute the gradient of your potential and check that it yield the correct field. Uh, so by definition, uh, to find the potential, we have to find the electric field. Before that, I will explain the problem that you have a long wire, infinitely long which I have shown in uh, violet color. I am considering a distance S yes, from this uh, wire is a cylindrical uh, shape. I have taken cylindrical shape. Uh, since the wire itself is, is a uniform one, I am taking an arbitrary distance A, small A. Uh, so, then, uh, uh, now, uh, uh, the charge is uh, lambda, line charge, lambda per unit length. Lambda is the line charge per unit length. So, now in order to find the electric field, we have to integrate. We have to do the surface integral E dot dA, uh, which is equal to uh, charge and close to divided by epsilon naught. Uh, of course, we have done this problem. Please uh, check the uh, problem uh, 2.13. Uh, the link I have given in the description box. So uh, that integral uh, dA is equal to 2 pi s, circumference of the cylinder multiplied by this length L. So let us say this length is L. So, uh, this is lambda, in fact. So, lambda, this length is L. So, this is 2 pi S multiplied by L gives you the area. Then, the total charge, charge enclosed by the cylinder is uh, lambda L. So, lambda is charge by the unit length multiplied by length gives the total charge inside this Gaussian surface divided by epsilon naught. Uh, so, now you can cancel this L and L here. So, this will become, if you bring 2 pi S uh, to the other, uh, right hand side, then it, this will be 2 pi epsilon naught S, uh, S cat. Now, you can find the, uh, find the potential. Potential is minus integral over uh, infinite to S, that point S. Uh, e dot uh, di. Di is a small line element. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, minus negative. So, V of R is equal to minus lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught. I am bringing only the S, which is a variable here. So, 1 over S uh, integrated over ds S cat. Here, I am replacing infinite because here infinite is uh, meaningless. Uh, because that uh, charge uh, wire itself infinite length, so I am taking some arbitrary length uh, distance A, uh, which is very long. So uh, now the V of R is equal to 1 over minus lambda 2, uh, 2 pi epsilon naught integrated between A to S 1 over S T S S cat. Now we will uh, carry out this uh, integration. Now we have seen V of R is equal to minus lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught integrated between A to S 1 over S T S S cat. Uh, now uh, if you integrate this 1 over S with respect to S, you will get a natural logarithm of S between the limit uh, A to S. So this can be, if you apply the limit, upper limit and lower limit, then it will be natural logarithm of S minus natural logarithm of A, which can be written as lambda uh, minus lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught natural logarithm of S over A, S cat. Here, I want to highlight two important points. Uh, 
as i said in the earlier we, uh, we have not taken the limit to infinite because if uh, a is infinite this uh, natural logarithm will become zero uh, which is undefined it's not defined one similarly when a equal to zero this will become infinite so a two uh, fourth limits are uh, will not uh, fourth limit will not give fruitful result here that is uh, zero and infinite now we will find the gradient of it so gradient of it is equal to minus uh, lambda over uh, 2 pi epsilon naught uh, differentiate uh, we are differentiating that is gradient is uh, 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 that is a uh, de derivative with respect to position that is uh, uh, with respect to uh, spatial uh, this is spatial derivative uh, delta over delta s yes. i have taken in uh, for lan uh, natural logarithm of s by a as uh, natural logarithm of s minus la uh, natural logarithm of a uh, here if you differentiate uh, the second term natural logarithm a uh, because a is uh, uh, a is not depends on s so this will become zero and if you take the derivative of uh, natural logarithm of s with respect to s this will become one over s uh, so i have taken this as minus lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught s s cat uh, now uh, we know very well that the electric field is equal to uh, negative gradient of the potential so negative gradient of this one uh, so here minus of minus will become plus uh, then it will be e is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught s s cat so this is uh, we exactly matching with our result uh, and the problem 2.13 Thank you very much for watching my video and uh, supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.